Walk into Mission Hill any day and you'll find children working and playing. Both are considered essential opportunities to talk to each other, figure things out together, and experience the rough edges of balancing one's own needs with those of others. Are you willing to solve whatever problem is happening? You're not? Oh, that's hard. I, you know what? I, I don't... Students need love, but they also, on the other hand, need this ceiling. Like, they need to know how far they can push you to feel safe. So I kind of look at that as love and limits. Sometimes you have a child who you're trying all different strategies with, and, and you, re you really um, just have to keep trying. You know, everybody makes mistakes, I make mistakes, but it's what you do after you've made those mistakes. Are we ready to move on? Can we still love each other? Can we still create this place where everybody has something to bring? What can you do to make you feel better? I hate Jake. So many things affect our desire to learn, and nothing impacts it more than our basic emotional readiness. From the youngest grades up, teachers at Mission Hill invest deeply in building bridges of empathy and understanding that everyone needs to become active, responsible members of a learning community. There are kids who need things emotionally. There are kids who might need just a physical touch. There are other students who are struggling with things at home. And there are students who are struggling with things that we don't particularly actually know or can actually label. I'm bringing her up because I'm not sure whether or not there is some kind of emotional attachment or if it is, yeah, I just kind of need a little bit of help thinking through it. Is this the child that you spoke to me about who has some characteristics of selective mutism? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot of new research that has just come out about art therapy mm -hmm. and kids with extreme shyness or selective mutism, whatever they're sort of on the scene. I was thinking about whether we could offer support. Mission Hill has always had a wide range of students, but several years ago it became even more diverse when Boston designated it a full inclusion school. An inclusion school is a school that has children who might in other cases be in sub-separate or individually contained classrooms, but in this school they are integrated into the regular classrooms. There are some children with pretty significant learning issues. I mean, not just a small reading problem, but very significant learning issues. No, he's just not safe. We knew that, um, you know, having a substantially separate class was not in our makeup at all. So you could First, as a staff, we had to get ourselves together and really be on the same page and do some reading and learn from other people um, that were working with students with pretty significant needs. In working with Jaden, um, because of the way he processes sensory information, it's hard for him to take in all sorts of sensations at once. Okay, go ahead, Bruno. Who are you going to give a direction to first? No! Try again. I don't like to be yelled at, and I don't like to be charged at. So try again. One of Jaden's many strengths is reading. There's almost no word you put in front of Jaden that he can't read. So whatever kids are trying to figure out about Jaden, they're also knowing, Jaden can help me read. One of the things that is very exciting for me as a teacher is he would come in in the beginning of the year and he would play alongside. He was in his own world and now he's actually playing with children. Working with him in a group of peers, even though it's challenging for him, is really important. He's gotten progressively better and better all year. He's really developed in a great way. Do you like? What do you like? Academics don't exist in a vacuum. Yet a frequently held belief is that schools have to choose between children learning emotional literacy or learning to read a book. Schools like Mission Hill realize this is a false choice. Take a detail. I want you to ask her, ask her, look, what can I do to make you feel better about that? What can I do to make you feel better? Well, you can play with me. 
The reality is that when you teach children to manage their emotions, they are more able to learn about such academic things as the wonders of ancient China. And what wonders they are, as you'll see next time in a year at Mission Hill.